What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with more Uno X and today we will be taking on the national championships hoping to defend some of our jerseys and gain some new ones as well. And this is our final races ahead of our first Grand Tour, the Tour de France. I cannot wait to get into that in the next episode. But first, the national championships today. We definitely want to look as good as we can at the Tour in some nice jerseys. But first, we do have dossiers to cover, more points available to us. However, I have made a decision. We're not going to add any points this time. We're up to eight points at the moment. Borgen up to 100%. Kron and Skelmosa are two big targets, are looking pretty good as well on the interest front. But uh, I'm going to save up these points for now. So in total, we're going to get 20 more points uh, to round out this dossier or this transfer season. But I want to go to the search page right here. And here we can look at the best riders available to us next season. Now, we are adding hopefully Skelmosa, a GC rider. We are adding Kron, a puncher. We are lacking really in that sprinting department. We have Helvorsen, we have Werenschgold, not quite developing though. We need a class sprinter. And looking at the sprinters available to us, we could go for Mads Pedersen, or we could go for the more budget option and maybe realistic option of Alex Kristoff. He's now 34 years old. He's probably on the decline fairly soon as well, yet he can still sprint okay. He's a good cobbler, maybe a competitor for Roubaix. Of course, the Belgian Classic's a great rider for those races, and he can really nurture our younger talent, hopefully. Those are my thoughts right now because Christoph is, I think, 14 dossier points compared to Pedersen, who is 20. And although he's not the most electric, uh, quickest, pure sprinter in the bunch, he'll definitely improve us in that department. I know he's older, um, but still, I feel like it could be a worthwhile signing. So in the end, if we are able to add Christoph as well as Skelmosa, as well as Andreas Kron, those three riders, I think could be enough to take us to World Tour next season and really grow this team quite nicely. Then we'll still have around six points available, I think, uh, for a couple more lesser riders who we can develop as well. So those are my current plans regarding the dossiers. Let me know, guys, what you think in the comments below. How would you spend the final 20 points we will have available to us? But before diving into today's World Champs, I do want to quickly recap the objectives. We need a top 10 in both Danish races and a top five in the Norwegian ICT. They are both four-star objectives in the time trial, so we definitely need to uh, accomplish that at least. And to be honest, I think that should be possible. We have 38 kilometers to cover in Denmark today. No Kasper Askren on the start line from what I can tell, but Vingegaard is the favorite. We have the second favorite in Magnus Kortz Nielsen. Soren Kral is here, Mikael Björg, Captain Price. It is a very, very hotly contested event right here. Let's get into it and hopefully, I'm hoping to achieve a lot more than that top 10 and aim for the victory. And briefly, I have checked, Kasper Askren is out with a fractured hip. That is massive for us because he would have definitely been the pre-race favourites. So I think Peter Mogensen is definitely going to set the early benchmark despite uh, Gustav Wang, the junior champion, going. And yes, Mogensen is the fastest so far, but Mawson Hulgaard, I think, has a good chance today. A plus two day, I'm really hopeful for his chances. Yep, Hulgaard is first at both of the first two checkpoints by some distance, but Magnus Court is now on course as well. Come on, boys. So here comes Hulgaard into the finish line. The question is how much we're going to go into the lead by 49 seconds so far. But the first checkpoint for Court, we are first place just ahead of Hulgaard. He looks like our best option so far until we have Captain Price. Have I pushed this a little early with Magnus up that final climb? I think we're going to just about be okay because it descends right now. What is his lead going to be? 25 seconds on Hulgaard. We're looking okay. But now we have most of the favourites on course and it's not that dream day for Captain Price. Only a zero I don't think we're going to hold on for victory here. And so far, it looks like Madsvert Schmidt is on that magic day. Soren Kral not far behind. And I think Captain Price is going to be some way off here. Let's see. Two seconds off Madsvert Schmidt. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought, but Mikkel Björg is coming. At that first split, Mikkel Björg is going to be behind by seven seconds. Let's check on Jonas Vingegaard. And he is going to be first by 13 seconds. Boy, oh boy. Jonas Vingegaard looks like the winner in the making here. So now Mads Schmidt comes to the line and he is, I think, going to take the best time away 
from Magnus Court Nielsen by 24 seconds. Captain Price is now struggling for energy as well, but I don't think it's going to matter. Vingegaard is on a magic day here. But anyway, we have to keep trying here with Captain Price pressing it up the climb. Doesn't suit him, of course. Let's press it all the way to the finish line. 99. Can we at least take the professional best time away from Virchmitt? No, we can't. We drop away massively in that final split, sadly. It's not going to be for Mikkel Björk today. I think it is going to be for the little diminutive Jonas Vingegaard. Let's see. Across the line, he holds on and becomes the Danish TT champion. I think last year we were a second off with Captain Price. This year, we were nowhere with any of our guys. That is disappointing. Fourth, sixth and seventh, I hoped for at least the podium. At least we get the objective, but uh, not quite as competitive as I hoped. Anyway, no hanging around because we are heading to Norway for a flattish time trial today. 40k, Leknesund and Tobias Foss are the favourites. We have Werenge Gold here, Marcus Hullegaard maybe, but it's all about really Soren Werenge Gold for us. So we currently have the best time early on with Tobias Haaland, Johannesson, but it is about the last three riders on course. And Werenge Gold, to be fair to him, does have a fair decent day could we maybe snag the victory so we were able to close the gap a little bit to Letnesund at the second split but still 22 seconds behind Tobias Foss and uh, yeah the climbs on the course they're not very long but lots of short climbs I think are going to cost us today uh, because those guys can climb a lot better than we can although to be fair we are keeping it a close affair entering the final two and a half k we are pretty much cooked right now I'm going to try and press it to 78 we have closed it to 17 seconds to Foss before the finale here let's press it up to 99 I think it's pretty much downhill after this section we're in Schgold into the finish we do take the best time by one minute and nine seconds let's see can we beat Andreas Lettison the former Uno X man himself has he saved enough for the line yes he has we're going to be top three but we're not going to win today but will it be Lettison or will it be Tobias Foss across the line Lettison holds on it's the same time would you believe it really close here great effort by Werenc Gold but Foss and Lettnesson just slightly too good. Lettnesson wins by one single second. But on we go with the Danish road race today and a flatter parkour, which does mean we are going to probably have to try and drop Mads Pedersen. But of course, we start with one of the big favourites in Magnus, Court Nielsen. But we do have plenty of options in the eight-man team. Away we go then. And the first thing I'd like to talk about is the size of our team compared to Pedersen who has three teammates. Kraut Anderson has one teammate, Val Grins by himself. Basically, compared to the other favourites, we have plenty of options. So getting riders into the breakaway, making them chase is going to be crucial. And that is exactly what I've been able to do. We have Jorgensen trying to bridge, but five riders at the head of the race, including Morton Hulgaard, who is clearly our leader on the day at the moment. And Rasmus Quaida, the defending champion, won this race from the breakaway last season. Let's see if we can steal that title. And I don't want to speak too early, but it does seem that the breakaway have this win wrapped up. We have 13 minutes and 40 seconds. And on paper, I must say, we are the best sprinter in this group. So I wouldn't be too unhappy to see this come down to a sprint. So 23k to go. We do have this hill coming up for the penultimate time. And I am thinking we could try to launch some kind of attack on the left-hand side of the road. I was going to say, right, let's go for the left-hand side and see if we can create some kind of bigger group right now. We are the best sprinter, but let's force these guys into working. Okay, we didn't get away, but we have opened up a bunch of attacks. And now our rivals in this group are trying to attack. They can't get away for the moment. I am on the defending champion's wheel. Okay, 11k to go. Rasmus Queda is launching an attack. I've now moved to Jorgensen's wheel. He was the rider, I think, he bridged very late to join this group. Now Ostergaard is trying. I'm going to cover every single move. And I think that is our best tactic because, like I said, I think we can take this in a sprint. Okay, we have 6k to go to become the Danish champion. We have a couple moves. Nicholas A and Jorgensen are trying to move on to the attack. We need to make sure we respond. And we do follow these guys up the road at a crucial moment as well. Ustergaard is just about closing that gap. We've spent some red here. Let's try and recover. We do have the final little hill coming up now. So with that in mind, let's move to the front of this race. Rasmus Quaida on our wheel still. I don't want to leave these guys out particularly, but I think coming into the final kilometer, 
at the front is going to be Chris Cool here. Here we go. Hugard going for the line in the Danish Championships. Queda is coming. Hugard takes the final corner in the lead. And Morten Hugard is the Danish national champion for Uno X. Let's go. Oh my word, I'm so happy. Let's go. I'm so happy with that. Morten Hugard, 23 years old, becomes the Danish national champion. We didn't have to take on the likes of Mads Pedersen. I don't care at all. That's a jersey we've never had before. Now let's go and try and get Norway as well. Here we are. Norway has arrived. 200k to cover. I can't remember if this is an identical circuit to last year, but old Christian Eiking is the favourite this time around. Marcus Hulgaard is there. Rasmus Tiller is the defending champion as well. We have a very strong team coming to the race. Let's try and go back to back. And so again, my tactic is going to be to try and get in the early breakaway and force the other teams who don't really have any domestiques here in Norway. Force has no one. Iking has no one either. Uh, so if we can get up the road, I think we have a great chance. So it seems these teams are not happy with me trying to place a rider in the breakaway. I'm literally just going to, as soon as we get caught and reeled in, I'm just going to counter attack again with all of our guys just to try and make this as difficult as I can. And so although Marcus Hulgaard is almost done and is about to be caught by Tobias Foss. Already some riders are out the back struggling with the tempo and as soon as Hulagard is caught, Foss, Lettnerson, all the favourites, they've used so much energy trying to get to him. We can just fire another rider off the front again. And there we go. Here's caught. Vidaberg goes up the road and the chase begins again. And there you go. This process has happened since the start of the race and finally we have broken them. And again, it seems that Rasmus Teller is up the road with a five minute lead. He looks like he will become the Norwegian champ. This is brilliant right now because as you can see, the Pelsen are not pacing. And in real life recently, we had Remco almost lapping some riders in Italy in real life. I'm wondering if I can do the same with Tiller. We have a 23 minute lead. It's unbelievable scenes as Rasmus Tiller catches the Pelsen. He is literally a lap ahead of the rest of every single rider left in this race and he's gonna lap every single rider um, and overtake them right now and press ahead to be even further ahead. This is absurd. So Flam Rouge for Rasmus Teller. He is going to become the Norwegian national champion. Two years running. He is celebrating already. This guy is going absolutely crazy. Look at the crazy celebrations of Rasmus Tiller who becomes the Norwegian champ, yes again, by a margin of 37 minutes, and it's gonna increase as well. So the eventual winning margin is 34 minutes and 20 seconds. Rasmus Tilla is the boss of Norway for a second year in a row, and we get both our national jerseys in the team in the road races. Ah, oh, that is the perfect result. Before wrapping up today, I thought I'd show you quickly some of the other national champions, and nice to see Hulgaard on this page. However, glancing to the calendar, as you guys can see, this means the next episode will be the Tour de France. Our first Grand Tour It's the biggest race in the world of cycling. We are heading to the Tour de France. You can see uh, the parkours we have coming up at the race. 21 stages. It's going to be unreal. I think we'll try and split it across three episodes. But let's take a look at our provisional team so you guys can give me some final feedback before we head to the Tour. So you can see the riders we currently have planned to go to the Tour de France. I'm wondering if I should maybe swap Paul Gard in simply so uh, he can show off his national jersey at the Tour de France. I'm considering it for sure, maybe for Widerberg or Nicholas Larsen. But guys, let me know what you think of our provisional team. If there's any changes you want to see, make sure you let me know in the comments below. But aside from that, that's we'll do it. Two national jerseys in the bag as we head to the Tour de France. I'm so pumped. I cannot tell you guys how excited I am. I hope you guys are too. If you are, leave a like on this video down below. Drop us up if you're new to the channel as well. And I will see you guys at the Tour.